My name is Nate from Kilovolt, and today I will be showing you how to properly program your Outback inverter charger for your Kilovolt Hab battery using the Mate 3S and Optics RE. You can begin by using the Setup Wizard on the Mate 3S to program the basic settings for the batteries. However, all of these settings are also accessible via Optics RE if so desired. First, we will set the amp hour capacity of the bank, which is calculated by multiplying 150 amp hours by the number of HABs in the system. In this case, there are six for a total of 900 amp hours. We will then set the absorb voltage to 56 volts. Absorb time should ideally be set to two minutes, but Outback can only go as low as one tenth of an hour or six minutes, which is still acceptable. Float would be set to 52.8 volts, but we're going to disable it by setting float time to zero hours. Equalize will also be disabled, but it is still best to set the equalize voltage to about the same as the absorb voltage in case it is accidentally initiated. The setup wizard will then walk you through the AC output and input configuration for the inverter. This system is completely off-grid, and we're going to have it set up to do auto start on the generator for backup power. We will set the mate to auto, and then it will trigger a relay to start the generator when the batteries reach the programmed voltage. We are only going to use the 2 minute start voltage, and in this case it will be set to 51.4 volts, which should correlate to roughly 80% depth of discharge. Once we are done with the setup wizard, we can save the profile to the mate in case we want to load the same settings onto a different system in the future. Once we are back on the home screen of the mate, we will then press the lock button to enter the installer password of 1732 and the user password of 141 to have access to all the settings. We can then go into the inverter settings manually to check and make sure everything is correct and adjust a couple other set points that weren't done in the setup wizard. Alternatively, we could connect our mate to the internet and use Outback's Optics RE monitoring and configuration portal to finish the setup process. From the home page of Optics, we will click on Device Map and then select our Leader Inverter from the list of devices connected to the hub. On the Battery Charging tab, we will make sure that the absorb voltage is 56 volts, the absorb time is 1 tenth of an hour, float and equalization time should both be set to 0 hours, and equalization voltage should be roughly equal to the absorb voltage. We will then set the low battery cutout to 48.2 volts. On the mate, it can't go higher than 48 volts, but optics should let you go up to 48.2. The low battery cutout delay should be three seconds, and the high battery cutout should be 57 volts. Next, we will check our AC current limits, either on the mate or on optics. It is important to note the HAB warranty is broken into two tiers, a 10-year extended life warranty and a 7.5-year extended charge rate warranty. The 10-year warranty allows for 50 amps of DC charging current per HAB, while the 7.5-year warranty allows for 100 amps of DC charging current per HAB. Outback only lets us set the AC input amp limit, which means we need to convert the allowable DC amps specified by the HAB warranty to AC amps in order to determine the proper set point. To do so, we would multiply the permitted 50 amps DC per HAB by 51.2 volts, which is the nominal voltage of the HAB. This will show us how much power in watts we can use to charge the batteries. Then we can convert watts to AC amps by dividing by our AC voltage, which in this case is 240 volts AC. So, if a customer wants to comply with a 10-year warranty, they would need to limit their AC input current to roughly 10 amps AC per HAB in the bank. If they wish to take advantage of the 7.5-year extended charge rate warranty, the same math would apply but using a 120-amp DC limit instead of a 50-amp DC limit. Always best to do one last check and make sure all settings are in line with those recommended in the HAB manual. And once we've done that, everything should be up and running and ready to rock. We hope you've enjoyed this video and encourage you to visit the kilovault.com website for more information.